morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Forex Super Moderation Review and Forex Briefing for uh, Thursday the 12th of uh, January 2023. Look at yesterday's results for the racing then. So for Wednesday the 11th, we're at Kempton on the All Weather at 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we had a go at um, uh, three horses in that race. Uh, number one, number, sorry, number four, uh, full forward, which came sixth at 100 to 30. Uh, so that was last of, of the six because it was a non runner. Uh, we got the eventual winner, which was number five, Little Roman, uh, which was one at 100, 100 to 30. Uh, we were using those two to lever into this uh, big price horse, which was uh, number six, Opportunity Knox, which came fourth, unfortunately, at 33 to 1. We had three places inevitably, so we just missed out there. So we had uh, pound per eight pound unit on uh, the front two uh, at uh, four to one, 3.9 roughly which is £100 each for us, uh, and we had uh, pound three places uh, at 4.6 to 1 average, and a pound win at 33 to 1 uh, as well. So uh, uh, this horse, um, Opportunity uh, Knox, if you watch the replay, ran uh, uh, much better as we expected, uh, and, uh, and made a bit of a move uh, furlong out, but uh, uh, it was pretty close and uh, certainly not a 33 to 1 shot. So, uh, so that worked out fairly well. We made a minor profit there, um, so the account came up slightly to plus 63.40 units in, in profit. We did say that um, Little Roman uh, was the most likely winner as well. So, uh, so it all sort of panned out fairly well. We just didn't get the big payday. Now today, uh, just grab this. Um, <clears throat> we've got a race at uh, Newcastle on your weather. It's the 335. It's a handicap uh, four-year-old 0-75 furlongs, model 99. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so it's the last race at Newcastle. Uh, it, it's a five furlong, so it's a straight straight five on Newcastle all the way. Model 99, which is quick. Uh, so, um, right, there's uh, there's seven in the race. Uh, we're going to have a go at three of them. We're going to use this uh, number two, Modular Magic, which we like a lot. Uh, 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 we think this will set the race up, uh, this horse. It's... Um, so uh, what do we know about Modular Magic? Well, um, basically it, uh, it performs at first, which is Model 99 on the flat, which is a, a perfect match uh, for uh, Newcastle 5. Uh, and um, it also has had a couple of runs at five furlongs at Suddle on the all-weather, which is 100 plus. It's the fastest uh, uh, five furlongs uh, in the business uh, at the moment. So... So it's slightly outpaced uh, Suttle 100 plus, uh, but it's bang there at, uh, at uh, Thirsk 99, and this should ideally suit. And its running style is basically, it just goes off fast, stays fast, and it either gets there or it doesn't. So it's a, it's a sort of a, a real burn horse uh, uh, with, with a fair bit of staying potential as well. So, uh, so what it will do is it'll, uh, it'll either win uh, or, or it'll set the race up for uh, horses that are that are sort of stalking just behind the, the this pace, and the two that are likely to take advantage of that if that doesn't happen are number three, uh, I do apologise, and number four, We Fat Mac. Uh, so what we've done is we've uh, done a pound per uh, uh, eight pound unit on uh, Modular Magic at five point two to one. Uh, so that's a hundred pound win on at five point two. So we'll make a minor profit if that comes in, but we've sort of uh, assumed that it's just going to not quite get there. Uh, and one of these two, as we said, uh, I do apologise, or We Fat Magic, We Fat Max, sorry, uh, will uh, will come and uh, just just steal it off uh, off him at the line. So um, and we put slightly more on these two uh, for that basis. So we've got one fifty per eight pound unit on both of those. Uh, I do apologise, 5.4 to 1 and uh, we fat Mac 8.2 to 1. So, um, so we've got uh, 150, 153 pounds and plus a pound is 4 pounds uh, per 8 pound unit, which is half a unit uh, exposure, which is 400 pounds for us. So, uh, so that's where we are. So uh, that's what we think is going to happen. We think that you're either going to get this modular magic uh, running the guts out of them and, uh, and winning, or it's going to set it up for uh, I do apologise or, or uh, We Fat Mac, and the others. Um, so there's three there. So there's four to get rid of. Um, 
Indian sounds number one we don't think it's going to have the pace uh, it, uh, it performs at Carlisle which is pretty slow modern 95 and it's, it's not a pace horse that, that horse um, number five uh, Ruggles uh, we don't think that's going to be good enough it's had, had wind surgery as well and it doesn't look the right type number six uh, another angel um, it's, it's marginally but not quite good enough so it's probably not good enough that horse uh, and uh, number seven, uh, Cracking Power, which is the likely favourite. Um, Hamilton five furlongs uh, nine, not pace. It's not quite got the pace at, at this uh, pace profile venue, uh, Newcastle uh, 99. So, so that's where we are really. So, so yesterday panned out quite well, um, but we didn't have um, didn't have the payday. Uh, and today we're using this setup to try and uh, to uh, have a reasonable score on uh, on racing with regards um forex uh you've got this significant cpi data uh consumer price index data coming out at uh, 130 uh gmt uh and we're gonna the market is basically positioned for a soft dollar uh the the uh the central bank um uh modeling uh is showing that uh that they they've talked down the uh the dollar talked up the euro uh, you're getting a bit of risk off at the moment running into it so the uh, New, New Zealand dollar and the uh, Australian dollar are getting uh, seen off a bit uh, and uh, uh, that sort of scenario is there. Gold doesn't know what, what it's doing at the moment and uh, oil's uh, soft. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to stick in a bounce order uh, uh, to wrong foot the market so we're going to do some sort of long, long dollar uh, pair uh, bounce order uh, off, a, off a CPI which uh, may come in on the high side if it does everybody will be running for the exits if you look at the dollar index uh, on the monthly chart you'll see what we mean the dollars uh, really come off it's, it's down near the lows so uh, so there'll be a lot of vulnerability uh, if the dollar does perk up so, uh, so that's what we're doing there um, uh, welcome if you're a new subscriber and uh, generally thanks for watching and goodbye